All right, we're back. I'd like to talk to you now about some HTML5. I mentioned it in the slideshow, and here I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to work below the body tag. And I want to create three sections for this page. The top section will be a navigation section. The middle section will be a main section. And the bottom section will be a footer. So let's put those in. This is an HTML5 tag called nav. I'll put the start and the end tag. Then I'll skip a space. And then I will have my main section, main. And I would like the main section to contain all of this so that I can create one style for the main section. And it will affect all of these tags within it. And now for this bottom tag, I'll create a footer section, F-O-O-T-E-R, footer, because it's at the foot of the page. There we go. But let me add a few nav tags in here. I want my navigation to say home. And let's see, we've got five topics here. And I think that's what we have on page two. So I'll call the second one five topics. In between those two links, I will put the pipe symbol. So I'll skip a space and type, it's a straight line. You'll find it above your backward slash key to the right of your bracket keys, square and curly bracket keys. So let's see, let me just put some natural separation between these and I'll put a P tag. I forgot to put that here on my footer. There, everything is tagged up. I made this little illustration for you so you could see the three chunks that I'm going to style. I've got my nav section here, my main section in the middle, and my footer section at the bottom. You will notice that when I save this, and there's my navigation. See that pipe symbol I was talking about right there? Um, so let me give you a little example about how styling the navigation or these big sections would work. I know you might remember the slideshow where I talked to you about using the style attribute. There it is. So rather than the P tag, I'm going to put the style attribute on the nav tag. Remember that a style attribute can go on any HTML element. And it has this format, uh, style equals because it's an attribute, right? So it's the attribute format, style equals. And then inside quote marks, you'll put a property and a value. So let's come over here and style the nav with something just to see what it looks like. I'll put style equals, and you can see Visual Studio Code gave me those quotation marks. Um, I'll try the text align center. Let me save that and let's look back at it. So now you can see that that is centered. Let's do that on the main as well. Look, I'm just going to copy it. Control C and Control V. Save. Now that is centered. Let's do it to the footer. And I will do it there. Do a save. And that's what that looks like. 